So today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, diversity and the lack thereof in a lot of our media, whether it's television, movies, books, we're just not seeing it. And I especially wanted to talk about it in relation to the new Star Wars movies that are coming out uh, next year. They just released the cast uh, for the new movie and they added one black actor and one woman and the rest are all a bunch of white guys. And before I start, I should say I'm a white guy. I'm a heteronormative white male and why am I talking about diversity? Why should I be talking about diversity? Well, being part of the privileged and advantaged heteronormative white male cast, I think it's my duty, my responsibility to speak up and say something. I guess with great power comes great responsibility, but seriously, um, because I have all of this privilege and all of this advantage that minorities and women and anyone who's not a white male, a white straight male, doesn't have, you know, I, I need to speak up. It's the right thing to do. Kind of going back to Star Wars, because here's the thing about Star Wars. Star Wars is, it's a mythos. It's a universe. It's about good versus evil. It's about exploration. It's about alien cultures and, and lots of different themes that are universal. So why, oh why, is it populated by a bunch of white guys? Because here's, here's the problem. People who aren't white guys watch Star Wars as well. And when they watch it, who do they see representing them? No one. Uh, yeah, Princess Leia is an awesome character. She is. She is a badass woman. But that can't be the only character that girls have to look up to. I don't understand why in science fiction and fantasy that we, we have dragons and spaceships and robots and aliens, uh, but we can't have uh, a realistic view of the world. You know, is it unrealistic to, to have women in your world? To have people of other ethnicities and, and, and races and backgrounds? Is, is that unrealistic? I guess what I'm really trying to say is we as men, as white heteronormative men, have a moral obligation to tell the true story, to show the world our version of the world as it really represents reality. We need to tell stories that have diverse casts of characters in them. Because the world isn't just one shade. The world isn't just one viewpoint. The world is filled with viewpoints. And in order for us to accurately reflect what is in the world, we have to do that with our own creations. I personally am quite disappointed that Star Wars, the new Star Wars, uh, in the hands of someone different, uh, has not done more to reflect reality. And yeah, Star Wars, you know, isn't reality, it's a fantasy, but uh, again, with the Force and aliens and spaceships and lightsabers, uh, I, I don't know why we can't have a little bit more uh, diversity. And this isn't something just with Star Wars. This is uh, an endemic problem uh, in all of media. Just, we need to do better as a society. You know, art kind of reflects culture. Until people kind of get a voice in art, probably not going to really have that much of a voice in culture. The world is, is a big place but getting smaller, uh, we're a global society where lots of different people are all interacting and, and having to cooperate, and 
we all need equal representation. Um, so, yeah. I still very, very much want someone to comment uh, on my vlog. Uh, again, having this little uh, competition with Corey to see who can get the first comment. If anyone wants to continue the conversation about diversity, uh, love to hear from you. Definitely would. My offer still stands. The first person who comments, I will write a story for you. Anyway, that is all that I have for today. Uh, Corey, I look forward to whatever you have tomorrow, and I will see everyone next week.